Hey guys, what's up? Pase Baller here. We are now on this uh, May 23rd, 2022 NBA Game Day. This is for game number 4 of Miami Heat versus Boston Celtics series. Again, this is game number 4 and it will start at 8.30pm Eastern Time. So that's going to be 8.30am here in Manila. Again, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please, click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Alright, Miami Heat is actually up on this series, two games to one. Boston Celtics, they would still have the home court advantage on this particular game. But, um... The momentum and the confidence should be on Miami's side as uh, they actually beat Boston Celtics uh, last game number three on their own arena. All right, so let's take a look at the injury list for both teams, actually. Uh, for Boston Celtics, uh, this could be a problem. Um, Marcus Smart, Robert Williams, and uh, uh, well, actually Mark, yeah, just the two of them, sorry. Smart and Williams, they're both listed as questionable. Uh, for this game, uh, Hauser is actually out for this game, while Jason Tatum, he's actually listed as probable for game number four. So those are uh, the injury list for Boston Celtics. Hauser out, Williams and Smart um, questionable, and Tatum listed as probable. For Miami Heat, I see a lot of players listed down here as questionable, although it has been like this. And normally, well, for Miami Heat, if they are listed questionable, they are still able to play. So let me just read what they have on the list. We got Strauss, Lowry, Vincent, Hero, PJ Tucker, and Jimmy Butler. All right, so I have six players listed um, as questionable, but we have to remember Butler actually got hurt um, on last game number three and he wasn't able to come back and play on the second half, although Miami Heat had established enough lead uh, to give them the, the win. So let me go ahead and take a look at the sp spread. It is minus 6.5 for Boston Celtics, the home team. All right, I'm going to make this one quick. Um... I think Boston Celtics is just too good um, to lose both home games, if you know what I'm saying. So I think Boston Celtics would actually win this one. Now, in terms of uh, the spread, I think Jimmy Butler is actually hurt. But Jimmy Butler can actually play, you know. Um, but if I were one of Miami Heat's um, coaches... I would not actually risk uh, Jimmy Butler out there. I mean, we are uh, we are up two games to one. We have already gotten one game um, right there in Boston Arena. We have already done our homework. You know, I'm not going to risk Jimmy Butler. I'm going to rest him up and perhaps just preserve him for game number five. There are still two games, um, two games that will be held in Miami. In any case, they would actually lose game number four. Um... I'm not going to take that risk to go ahead and let Butler play and, you know, um, let him aggravate his injury, if you know what I'm saying. Um, another issue that I have is uh, Tatum. You know, Tatum only had 10 points for Boston Celtics in game number three. Perhaps one of the main reasons as to why Miami Heat actually um, dumped them in the first half. That was not so Tatum. And I guess... Uh, Tatum is too good uh, for him to have the same kind of poor performance in this game number four. I'm expecting Jason Tatum to actually explode in this game number four to actually give Boston Celtics the win. Um, I'm picking Boston Celtics to win this game number four. And in terms of the spread of minus 6.5, I think Boston Celtics would actually cover this one. I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying that it will be like a, a huge blowout like uh, the way Miami Heat did in the first half of that game. But yeah. Uh, my pick on this one would be Boston Celtics winning the game and covering the spread of minus 6.5. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.